Hi, welcome to another video. So, Gemini 3 has finally been launched. I'm not sure if this is a dream at this point, but I hope it isn't because it is now available on Google's AI Studio. So let's check this out now. First, let's talk benchmarks. It's state-of-the-art on almost all benchmarks. Like, it's just awesome. It beats Sonnet and GPT 5.1 in almost all benchmarks, except SWE Bench Verified, which is fine because SWE Bench Verified is so rigged at this point that I can't even exaggerate it enough. Anyway, these benchmarks are fine, but I want to show you my benchmark results. However, let's just glance over the pricing as well. The pricing is quite good. It costs $2 and $12 for input and output respectively if you stay under the 200,000 token limit. And over that, you start getting charged $4 and $18, which is not bad. It's cheaper than Sonnet, which is insane for the price to performance. The model is currently available on AI Studio and the API. It is also available in Gemini CLI for free usage. There's another thing that they have launched, and it's called anti-gravity. It seems to be their own agentic ID. I'll do a video about it separately. Let's talk about the model here. So, I have currently only tested it on the Kingbench questions and not the agentic questions. The agentic test video will come out tomorrow. So, please stay tuned for that. And if you guys like these videos, please subscribe and comment your thoughts. Anyway, let's start with the questions one by one. So, first, we got the floor plan question. Now this is actually really good. There are some issues, and it's not the best like X58, but it's very close, and it's better in how it presents it. Here, you can see that the rooms are laid out correctly. You get two rooms at the top, you get two bathrooms and a kitchen. You can also change the time of day, and if it gets to night, then the lights turn on. This is just insane at this point. Very, very cool. Then we got SVG Panda holding a burger, and just look at this. This is so good. Even X58 wasn't this good. This just looks like a picture at this point. Even if you zoom in on just the burger, then it just looks really good. We also got a Pokeball in 3JS, and this is also insane. It looks very good, and it's perfect. We also got a chessboard with an autoplay feature. And this is just insane. It looks like a board from chess.com, and the autoplay and the animations are just top-notch. It's all one shot, which is so unbelievable to me. After this, we have the question of making a Minecraft clone, but in Kandinsky style. And well, it nailed this as well. The environment is so good, and the moving around is just insane. Moving on, we got the majestic butterfly flying in the garden. This is also insane, even better than the X58 checkpoint. This looks like a butterfly, flies like a butterfly, and the aesthetic of the whole scene is great. The camera moves around fine. The flowers are also quite good. We also got the CLI tool for converting images in Rust, and this is also really good. It's a great model with great knowledge. Also, it seems to be extremely fast. OpenAI should learn something from them. Then we got the Blender script question, and this is also great. You can see that it makes the scene, aligns the camera, adds lights, and does so much. The camera view aligns it correctly, and it actually also made the Pokemon capturing waves, thing which is also so good. It's just insane what this model can do. After this, We've got the mathematics questions, and this is also insane. It passes both the mathematics questions in the first try, and the riddle is also a pass. This makes the model score a 100% on my benchmark. So, Kingbench 2.0 has officially retired now. You'll see the results from the agentic benchmark soon as well once I'm done with all the testing. I have some new benchmarks which I'll share in the next video as well. So, 
Stay tuned for that. The agentic tests might tell a different story, but based on my initial testing, it doesn't seem so I'm really happy with this release. I couldn't ask for more. This is the true end of Claude, GPT 5.1, and blah blah models. I hope other companies come to their senses and make good models rather than inflating their prices, making models psychophantic, and just maximizing profits all the time. Google has set a big standard to clear. I would have been happy if we had got the X58 checkpoint, but they have gone above and beyond for this release, and I'm super happy. If you want to start using it as your coder, you can use it in Gemini CLI, or you can use it in Kilo code as well, which is where I am using it. It works quite well out of the box. You can just install Kilo code and use it through there. It's quite awesome, and you get $10 of free credit. Another way to use it for free via an API is via Zenmux. Zenmux has added this model for free with some rate limits. So, you can check that out as well. I haven't tested that API myself, but that is something that you can use for sure. This is about it. I really like this model. They come with a ton of power packed into them. Nano Banana is still not launched. I believe that it might be launched quite soon as well. So, keep a lookout for that. There's also Anti-Gravity, which I'll test and share my results soon as well. Let me know if you guys want the agent testing video first or the Anti-Gravity video first. I'll schedule my videos accordingly. It seems to be a very basic fork with AI features slapped on top of it. I still have to spend some time with it to get a good opinion on it, and I'll also probably test it on my agentic bench. It can apparently do work for you by navigating through the browser and stuff, which sounds really cool on paper. Anyway, that is majorly about it. The model is really good, so stay tuned for more of my benchmarking and the anti-gravity editor video. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.